Thanks so much for joining us here at smallcapvoice.com for our online business briefing where we shine a spotlight on some of the smartest and freshest plays. And you can see I have some guests here with me today. We're welcoming back to the show Carbon Meta Technologies Incorporated, the companies traded on the OTC under the ticker symbol COWI. We're lucky enough once again to be joined by Lloyd Spencer, as well as Mohammed Khalil. Mohammed Khalil is the Managing Director of Carbon Meta Research. Let's say hello first to Lloyd. Lloyd, how are you today? I'm very well. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And Mohammed, thanks so much for joining us today as well. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Stuart. You bet. Now, listeners, I'm going to share my screen with you right now. So we're going to be talking about this news right here today. Let me go ahead and give you yep. some of those headlines and datelines. On February 2nd, 2022, Saudi investment recycling company and carbon meta research signed MOU to commercialize construction and demolition waste recycling. Jump down to January 4th, 2022, KACST and Carbon Meta Technologies signed MOU to cooperate on processing plastic waste into hydrogen and carbon products. And then we have Carbon Meta Technologies, COWI, signing a license agreement for upcycling construction and waste into power products that capture CO2. Now, We've talked with Carbon Meta in the past, yeah. and I want you to refer back to those interviews as sure. well if you don't know the company. If you know the company, stick with us because there's another screen I'm going to share with you as well that kind of brings into focus how these press releases yep. play with each other. And these yep. are the logos of the other companies as well as Carbon Meta Research. Yep. Lloyd, let me let you jump in here. Let's get your take sure. and then we'll kick it to Muhammad as well. You bet. So um, back in uh, December, we initially signed an agreement with a company called Ecomina, which was putting together a process and a, um, I'll call it a recipe, for uh, taking uh, waste products from uh, cement plants uh, to uh, create a paver, I'll call it a, a cement-like product that you could turn into pavers. What was unique about it was that it sequesters CO2. So people hear about carbon capture, and that's what this is really all about. Not only is it a great uh, product in terms of its uh, strength and its capabilities for making pavers, but most importantly, it takes up CO2, which is one of the key problems. But what you also see after this, and this is where Mohammed really came to play here. He has these relationships with companies in Saudi Arabia. And the King Abdulaziz City for Science and uh, Technology, uh, they have expertise and they have people, they have facilities for doing research and development into this kind of area as well as the plastics. So it's both. And then lastly, this last announcement we just did with the Saudi Investment Recycling Company, what that's doing is it's taking a group that has access to resources as well as customers that are interested in taking these technologies and producing products and also bringing in investment to build companies. So what you really have now is Carbon Meta is the catalyst by bringing, by bringing some of the investment in to build the companies. You have CAST, which is uh, and bringing in the expertise and some of the facilities, and lastly with Cirque, which does the announcement, which does the uh, investment. So, with that, I'd like to introduce Mohammed and have him talk about uh, each of those, Cast and Cirque, and, and how he brought this all together. Go ahead, Mohammed. Thank you, thank you, Lloyd. Uh, thank you, Stuart. Well, we, as you mentioned, as you mentioned, we have three different products that we've been working on. One thing is the hydrogen, uh, we, uh, plastic to, to hydrogen and carbon na uh, nanotubes. Second, we have this um, uh, recycled and recycled basic building material, if you will, uh, yep. replacing cement. Um, so these two, when we, when we looked at, when we scanned the region, the Middle East, as who's gonna be the best partner and yep. where we can apply and introduce our uh, technologies. Primarily, it was very clear, the largest economy in the Middle East is Saudi. Uh, as Lloyd mentioned, they do have the labs 
uh, and the uh, the skills, and they the, the perfect fit for us to take our uh, technologies and recipes, if you will, to them. So if you look at CAX, which is uh, King uh, Abdullah City of Science and Technology, they have the team, they have the appetite to yep. look into our solution, which is the ways to um, the hydrogen. They've worked on it. They're working with our partner, Oxford University, our University of Oxford. And it was a natural step for us to go and sign an, uh, an agreement with them to take it to Saudi. Now, taking it to Saudi is not just replicating uh, a lab, like the one we have in Oxford, we're putting together right now. Uh, it is different. There you already have, we have identified potential customers Yes. for that. So soon or later, in phase one or two of the agreement with them, we will invite those customers. And that is from initial pilot immediately will engage a customer. The, the, the customers are like the Sabics, the Aramcos, uh, the Neom city, which is which is gonna be yep. the most uh, city run on renewable energy. And they have a hydrogen program. And we see ourselves along with CAX, that's where we're gonna fit. That's exactly. with the uh, CAX. And then we, when we did the market research and we met a lot of people in, in Saudi, We've realized that they have a challenge, but they also have a big vision. Uh, Cirque is um, an entity 100% owned by the Saudi Public Investment Fund, which is right. one of the largest in the world. And, and it is basically the fund overseeing the entire development and transformation in Saudi right now. And Cirque is one of the three entities. Their mandate is to recycle and invest in recycling. So yep. we approached them our vision, and we have two products. We have the plastic to hydrogen, and also um, uh, the what we call the cementless uh, uh, material to use it for pavers and uh, other building material. They like the idea, and we Im immediately engage into discussion where we ended up having a, an agreement, uh, an MOU sign. The next phase with them is. We will uh, do the first pilot in, in Riyadh, the capital. And yes. our objective is, as you know, the PIF owns um, owns CERC, but they also own all these giga projects in Saudi, including New York. Exactly. So what we're going to do is, together with them, we're going to be talking to the clients immediately and offer our solution for them as a sustainable solution, as a building material for their giga projects. And these Giga projects are massive. Um, the smallest one is probably uh, $5, 10000000000 billion. But all we know, uh, the value that they, they're willing to invest in Neom City is uh, $500 billion. And that's going to be one of our targets to go to, to take our solution exactly. to. The, um, both on the, um, on the hydrogen side and also in our building material, sustainable building material. So that's our yep. vision. Um, in Saudi to start. Now, exactly. as the news got out, we're getting a lot of attention right now. A lot of people are contacting us saying, how can we work with you? How can we license this, especially on the middle building material? Uh, they see the value, the raw material, the feed stock is there. So we're helping the country take care of a waste and turn it into a product that feeds into their vision. Exactly. And uh, this is the plan. This is the plan going forward. So this year is going to be very exciting, both here, I, I am in the UK, so both in Oxford with the, our lab, with our partners also is going to be in Saudi. And from Saudi, we will take that as for 23 forward, we're going to take it out of Saudi to the entire region. Yeah, well, very good. Thank you for that, Mohammed. Uh, Lloyd, before I let you jump in and break this down for the investors on what this yeah. takeaway should be for them here in 2022 from these memorandum of understandings, that's what we're refer referring to when we say MOU. Yes. Also, when we're talking about pavers, Lloyd, we are talking yeah. about the kind of pavers we use in our lawn and garden projects, in construction yeah. projects, such as the bricks. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So, uh, for example, we're right now talking with one customer in California uh, where they're looking at using pavers for a solar project where they have solar panels and they have to be sitting on top of some kind of cement base. Uh, well, instead of using cement, traditional cement, 
they're looking at working with us. Not only do they get a better product, but they also get something that takes up CO2. So they're, you know, they're really hitting two, two birds with one stone. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other um, thing I should point out is that Mohammed's quite right that this these relationships touch two areas. We talked about the pavers in the last announcement, but both um, the King Abdul City of Science and Technology and uh, CERC, both of those uh, involve uh, both areas of the business. So they're both very excited about the hydrogen and the carbon nanotubes. That takes a little longer to you know, get up to speed. We have to go ahead and uh, we have some prototyping we're doing in, in uh, the UK right now. And there's gonna be some prototyping in the Middle East that we are doing for not only the production of carbon nanotubes, but also for the separation and purification of them. There's a lot of work to be done. It's gonna take a while. In the meantime, th this project with taking paver material, we're taking the waste materials and turning them into paver products. That is something we can actually bring to the table much more rapidly for revenue recognition. So it's one of the reasons why we did that. Well, very good. So looking at that big picture and breaking it down for the investors, yep. like you said, it's going to take time. Memorandum of understandings are always that first step. And it seems like an excitement. Well, there is a lot of excitement. Just take it from Muhammad, mm -hmm. as he pointed out. So Lloyd, yes. uh, final takeaways before we wrap up this interview, things that the investors and shareholders should be on the lookout for in the coming months and quarters. Yeah, what they should be on the lookout for is that we will have some projects that are coming up rather quickly in this in this paver area. This uh, in this uh, from this last announcement we just did here. Um, what they'll also should be expecting to see is that we'll have some prototyping results from the hydrogen and the uh, the hydrogen carbon nanotube uh, project. So that's coming along as well. And and one last thing I'll I'll point out to the investors, and it's something that we've been learning uh, over the past months, is that what I think is going to be unique about Carbon Meta is that we are not, um, we are, we're going to be working with plastics that are post-consumer. Um, if you look at most of the recycling companies, especially in the United States, there's there are, um, there are more in Europe that are beginning to tackle the post-consumer waste problem. But in the United States, it's predominantly post-industrial plastics. So a lot of it is overproduction of plastics, and these companies take up the overproduction and they convert it back into granules that can be used for making whatever products, with, uh, for milk jugs, for whatever. Um, but the post-consumer plastic is pretty much ignored in the United States. And I think that's where the 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 opportunity is for us. So when we're talking about taking plastics and uh, turning them into carbon nanotubes and hydrogen, it's going to be post-consumer. It's going to be any plastic product. When we're talking about working with these pavers, we'll be working with companies that are producing some of the waste materials from the cement plants. And that's something that is being done by other companies out there, but we're going to be um, one of the companies with a with a, a, a means of getting to market with some good partners. And that'll be the next set of announcements you'll see as well. Well, very good. Listeners, once again, we're speaking with Lloyd Spencer. He is the CEO of Carbon Meta Technologies, as well as with Lloyd Khalil, the Managing Director of Carbon Meta Research. Mohammed, thanks so much for your time. We know we're reaching you across the con or halfway across the world, actually, in my case. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Been a pleasure. Thanks, Looking guys. Forward to talking to you soon. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. And uh, Lloyd, you're just in Seattle, so not that far for you, not that early nope, for not you. not at all. Thanks so much for your time, Lloyd. You're welcome. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, Thank listeners you. and shareholders, there's an easy way to get in touch with this company. We really encourage you to go out and engage with them socially. Those logos that yeah. I shared earlier, you can see those logos. You can see the stream of this news 
here at smallcapboys.com, yep. but of course at all the social handles for the company. And you can actually reach us directly through their social channels, ask questions, exactly. we'll get them, we'll bring them into this next interview. I know a lot of you already do that. I appreciate that. We have these topics to hit on today, but we'll do a Q and A with the guys here in the very near future. So once Looking again, from Lloyd Spencer, Muhammad Khalil, I'm Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for joining us today.